How to add a new hard disk to VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module VMware underscore guest underscore disk. The full name is community.vmware.vmware-guest-disk, which means that it's part of a collection or module to interact with VMware community supported. It manages disk related to virtual machine in given vSphere infrastructure. Parameters. The following parameter is useful in order to add a new hard drive to VMware vSphere virtual machine using the VMware underscore guest underscore disk. First of all, we need to establish a connection with VMware vSphere or VMware vCenter using a plethora of self-explicative parameters, hostname, username, password, data center, and validate underscore certs. Once the connection is successfully established, you could specify the desired disk configuration. In this, add a new disk to a virtual machine. The mandatory parameters are only data center and unit number. The data center parameter specify which data center name the virtual machine belongs to for a source allocation. The disk must be connected to a SCSI controller inside the virtual machine, so you should specify all the small details like SCSI underscore controller, unit underscore number, and SCSI underscore type. You might be interested on a deep dive about some performance analysis to properly adjust this parameter. Oh, of course, you should specify the disk size via various parameters according to the needed size, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, etc. One most important parameter is the disk underscore mode default to persistent, persistent mode, but there are other options such as independent underscore persistent and independent not persistent. These are common in a VMware environment. Demo time. How to add disk to VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. I'm going to show you how to add one gigabyte additional disk to a virtual machine named MyVM using Ansible Playbook in a SCSI controller number one and unit number one. Are you ready? Let's have fun! Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one playbook to add a new hard disk to VMware virtual machine. First of all, let's begin our play with a name VM Disk Demo that is going to target hosts only localhost. So I'm going to execute in my Ansible controller. Become false because we don't need a root privilege to execute this code and uh, we don't need uh, system information, so gather facts false. Let me define the collection used in this playbook, so only community.vmware, just for shorter in the name. Uh, one pre-task, I prefer to store all my variables in a separate file called vars.yml, so let me include it. So include underscore var and the file name. In this way, I have some common parameters such as for connection, that uh, could be stored in only one place and not copy and paste in uh, all my playbook. Now, let's have fun in the real place. On the task section, only one named add disk to VM using VMware underscore guest underscore disk. This is the module of inside collection community.vmware. 
Okay, now the boring part, uh, the credential. So let's start with the host name using my variable inside the variable YML. Okay, same story as username and password. For uh, all these parameters, I have a variable. This is very useful to have a variable so you can change uh, the parameter only in one place. So if you need to change username, you change only in the variable file and all your playbook will uh, use the new one. Otherwise, you need to do manually in a, a lot of file. I'm still lazy guy. Uh, validate search is for using self-signed certificate default of VMware. Uh, data center is where the virtual machine is running. This is the standard data center and name is the virtual machine name. In my case, VM underscore name. Okay, now the disk parameter, this is the MIDI part. Uh, let's start with gigabyte. Uh, let me define under VM disk gigabyte. I prefer to use a gigabyte as a base unit. Uh, I don't want to mess it up with a power of two. Okay, but feel free to customize if you want, uh, I don't know, megabyte or other <coughs> size. Okay, this type uh, data store is where exactly the virtual machine is going to be stored. Same story, I prefer to have a variable so I can customize this parameter by myself uh, for every execution. Mm, one thing that uh, should stay is the state, uh, in my case uh, present, uh, because we would like to create a new hard disk drive. SCSI controller is the ID, in this case I'm using SCSI controller 1, so I'm going to add a new SCSI controller to my base virtual machine. And uh, unit number, you know that SCSI controller has a unit from uh, 0 to 15. You need to decide one SCSI number for this uh, specific hard drive. This is a kind of things uh, of the past where the drive were physically connected to the computer. Other things is SCSI type and uh, disk mode. Okay, here we go, SCSI type. Uh, I have a variable for everything. And this is great. And disk mode uh, default is persistent because we don't want not persistent data, no? We don't want to lose data. But sometimes uh, it's useful if you need only some ephemeral drive. And uh, here we are. In a 20 line of code, I'm able to add a new hard drive to a virtual machine of VMware. And that's it. Now I'm going to show you the variable part. But this is exactly what we need. Let's have an overview together of the variable YML. So as anticipated, the first part are just a connection parameter, host name, data center, username and password. And the other part is more specific about the hard disk drive. One gigabyte thin disk type on data store, SCSI ID 1, unit 1, SCSI paravirtual and persistent drive. These are all parameters that you can customize. Yay! And welcome to my laboratory. This is my VM virtual machine with uh, only one hard drive of 10 gigabyte. Let me add a second one of one gigabyte using Ansible Playbook. Welcome to the terminal. Now let me connect to my Ansible controller via SSH DevOps as username at demoexample.com. This is my host that I'm using to execute all the VMware code. I was copying all the code inside the VMware directory and let me execute using ansible-playbook command. In my case, vm underscore add underscore disk. The execution is relatively fast. Ansible under the hood is connecting to the VMware infrastructure and using the 
Python library and everything is going to be executed. The result is a change status on the task to add a disk to virtual machine. And it looks like everything is already sorted out. Yay, success! But what happens if we execute again the same exact code? Well, we are expecting one, the property called hidden potency of the Ansible playbook. Let's take a look together. So, I'm expecting one OK status, which means no more this to add on SCSI controller 1 and position 1. And yay, we have exactly this stuff. Do you think it's great to automate our infrastructure with Ansible? I think so. Now, in the VMware infrastructure, we have uh, the primary disk drive of 10 GB and the additional one of 1 GB. Yay, great success! Now, you know how to add a new hard disk drive to VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. Thank you for watching and let's automate more of our infrastructure. Stay tuned for more adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!